My favorite memory with mom was when we first went to go see Cinderella and we both cried and then dad and Megan um, a few months later became very irritated because every weekend we wanted to watch Cinderella and some Fridays we go, what movie do you want to watch? And then I go, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay, and we watch the movie because it is our favorite movie and I think it's very interesting to note that in the movie, the main, obviously Cinderella is very patient and very kind and loving and I think that it's significant, something I noticed, that she has the same qualities that I think mom has, which is why I love mom so much. She is so patient. She, she doesn't, she, her patience level is way up here. She's the most loving person I know and she's definitely the best mom in the world. Hey mom, I just wanted to say happy birthday and uh, tell you about the time when we would go to soccer tournaments. You would take me there and um, I remember you would always take me to McDonald's and I remember you would tell me that you had worked at McDonald's and I used to think that that was like the coolest thing ever. I was like, my mom is awesome. She worked at McDonald's and I still think that you're the coolest person that I know. And I love you very much. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mom. I'm so thankful that you're my mom. You're the kindest, most thoughtful, selfless person I know, and I couldn't have asked for a better mother. You always know exactly when to call me when I'm feeling down or I need some advice, and you give the best advice ever. And I just really love you, and I couldn't have asked for a better mother. Happy birthday. Hey mom, happy birthday. So, uh, I remember one of the, uh, the funniest moments about growing up with mom is that uh, her hearing aids. So sometimes it would be annoying, but most of the time it was just funny. So we were at dinner one time and uh, I asked uh, something about green beans or, or peas or something like that. And uh, I said, man, they're, re they're really high in fiber. And mom goes, and I was so confused, but it just became the running joke for like the next, I don't know, I think this happened when I was 15, so like eight years. Every time we talk about high fiber or vegetables or something, we really hold up our hands and we high five each other. Uh, the second story is when I was homeschooled uh, back, I think it was like third or fourth grade. And uh, every day mom would help me and she'd help me read and write and everything like that. And then I had a problem on a test. So it was my chemistry test, not chemistry, it was science, I guess, uh, and, and I could not answer it and had no idea. And mom had always just told me the answer to help me out. And she said, no, we need to go look for the answer. So she took me to the library and we go, went through the textbook that we had. I think it was a Becca uh, curriculum. And she made me find the answer on my own. And that kind of started the whole learning on your own part of homeschooling, which I thought was the best part. Uh, and so I love you, mom. Happy birthday. Hey mom, happy birthday. Um, in thinking about a fond memory of you, there were too many to count. And I just think now being an adult, um, just how selfless you were over the years in making our, you know, our homeschool assignments, doing the laundry, keeping the house clean and raising all of us. Um, so I just want to say thank you so much for putting in, uh, all the effort, all the hard work, um, and, Really, the, the proof is in the pudding and all of us kids who have turned out so well. So thank you so much for all of your hard work and happy birthday. And so for a, a funny story, I, <laughs> I'd have to say um, when you would take John and I to school in the uh, Mazda MPV and we were all too embarrassed to go to school um, and you would let us put the seats down so that no one would see uh, you drop us off. I think that was one of the funniest memories that uh, I have of uh, you taking us to school. Okay, so round two. Um, I remember one time that Chris and I uh, were over at CJ's house and we watched a movie. And we came home and uh, we admitted that we had watched a scary movie, uh, Freddy Krueger, if I remember correctly. And mom, you said that either we had to get a spanking now with you or when dad got home and I immediately remember Chris being like I don't want a spanking no 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 and I was like give it to me now I'll take the spanking and I remember being spanked by you and then 
being like, ow, it hurts. And then Chris got an actual spanking. I thought that was funny. It's so hard to choose a funny memory with you just because I have so many happy, sentimental memories that are more special to me. And so I wanted to talk about those instead. Um, my favorite memory is every Christmas and or some spring break, um, we always get together and we watch Pride and Prejudice and What a Girl Wants. It's a lot of fun because we both watch movies the same way um, and we enjoy watching from start to finish. Uh, and when it's the long version of um, Pride and Prejudice, we take the time every night to go and watch an episode and watch an episode and watch an episode or maybe two in a row, uh, depending on time. And I just really love spending that time with you. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Anyways, happy birthday. I love you. My favorite homeschooling memory, which happens to be probably the funniest one, was when we went on an AHG camp out and AHG campouts, I mean, I could talk for an hour about all the hilarious and terrible and great things that happened. Um, one of the funniest experiences over AHG campouts was when mom brought a microwave on the campout and she microwaved her tea in the morning, she microwaved hot dogs for dinner, and needless to say, it was the most memorable camping experience I have ever had. Well, it took me a long time to find the right one, but it was certainly worth the wait. And when I found the right one, and Mr. Hart told me that Lori was beautiful in every way, I knew I would spend the rest of my life with you. And for the 30-some years that we've been married, every single day, it's reinforced that what Mr. Hart said is right. You are beautiful in every way. You are worth waiting for.